Custom Erin Condren Life Planner Cover. Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made a custom cover for my Erin Condren Life Planner. So a couple of the supplies that you'll need are your planner, I use some sticker sheets for my name, some laminating packs, a 1 8 hole punch, a pencil, some washi tape, scissors, and two 12 by 12 pieces of scrapbook paper. Using scrapbook paper allows the covers to be double sided, so I'm not having to put in two times the amount of paper. One thing that I did beforehand was measure and mark the height and width of the paper and lamination cover on my cutting board. This would make it so much easier once I place the items onto my cutting board to give them their trims. So then I measured out with the paper on my existing cover, kind of where I wanted the papers to line up on my new cover. I masked off a little bit of area so I could kind of see how it would look. And then I was able to put it into the paper cutter, use those pre-registration marks and cut. I turned on my laminator during this process so it could start warming up. With this paper, you see me kind of second guess how much yellow I had. It was okay in the end, I was happy. I debated putting the stickers on first, but I really liked the way that the texture kind of smoothed it out when it went through the second sheet. So since I had done that before, I kept it that way and just left it how it was. When putting the paper into the lamination sheet, just be sure that you give yourself a nice border that you will be able to cut with the hole punch for the spiral section. I just kind of lined it up, made sure that everything looked okay. My other suggestion is going to be make sure you get off any dust or pet hair. Uh, I have a couple dogs and my first few covers have a little bit of love left in them. Once the pages came out of the laminating machine, I left them to cool for a moment. I used some stickers to put my name on the front cover. I debated using some sort of a straight edge to keep everything in line, but I was okay with the way it came out. I was using the three mil packs, so I added a second sheet that I threw back into the laminator so it would have a double thickness. Once they came out and cooled off, I taped my existing cover to the new cover. So when I put it through to be trimmed, I would make sure that I was lining everything up properly. I just used some washi tape to make sure that everything would stick together and hold right. Once everything was trimmed, I repositioned the washi around the edges so I could use my 1 8 hole punch to punch all of the holes in the same existing spots. I repeated the same steps for the back cover. Once I was done punching, I grabbed some scissors and cut little snips in the middle of the hole. This way I would be able to place the cover onto the spiral of the life planner. To give myself a little bit of assistance putting the cover on, I used a mechanical pencil with the lead pushed up so I could easily pop all of the little sections in between the spiral. And just like that, it was all finished. I absolutely love the way that these new covers look. I'm going to be changing them every season, I feel. They work just as well as the other ones, but they've got that little extra spunk that makes me love them so much more. Hope you guys are inspired to make some of your own awesome life cover planners. See you later.